This is Mustang Mike, and you're watching WGS TV. Don't adjust your computer screens, guys and gals. It's time for Super Mario Brothers 3. Um, if you guys have seen the previous installments, yeah, I've been trying to do an LP of uh, Mario Brothers 2, and and since I was having so much fun with that, as a incomparable one, Lance Moss will attest to. I figured very you know, much. I figured why not we uh, take a little break and pause from that LP and and do one here of a. Uh, what I, I, I like to consider, and uh, a lot of other people, Lance, like to consider to be the true sequel for uh, the first Super Mario Brothers game, and that's Super Mario Brothers 3. I think it was either 1 or 3 that I started playing when I was younger. Well, let's go ahead and get started here in uh, World 1. And like I said, you know, you know, there, there are a lot of major differences. If you notice, like in uh, Mario Brothers 2, at each level there was no time limit, but also at the exact same time there were no really, like, traditional power-ups. There were no, like, Fire Flowers or, or Koopa Troopas. It was basically a story, you know, that, like I said, the uh, Nintendo took, you know, from Japan, and they made it into a, what was a different game. They made it into a, a Mario game, you know, I guess just to... I don't know to be lazy or anything like that. I really don't know the exact story. Um, uh, one thing I did like... Well, oh, sh Oh, dang. Oh, well. One, one of the things I did uh, like when I watched on uh, G4 TV was they had a, uh, a documentary series called Game Developers or Game Makers. And uh, they would uh, tell the story of... Uh, of, of certain uh, franchises and certain people and how they would uh how they got accomplished and how certain games got made which was always to me very interesting to watch and they did have a a, a series on uh Miyamoto and, and Nintendo and how, uh, how everything got started and how you started getting with the Mario franchise here and I do remember them telling the tale of uh, originally supposed to be um something else uh, but they they took Super Mario Brothers 2 and uh, they, they, make, they crafted it from a different Japanese game that they had released and it, they called that the sequel and, and a lot of fans really weren't happy too much because it was really a story away from what they've done traditionally with Mario you know there was the princess wasn't being kidnapped he was actually uh, the princess was one of the playable characters which was Really odd, according to some gamers. Yeah. But uh, if we get to this Goomba here, take that. And a little free 1,000 points. Like me. Ooh, and ouch, fireball. Musical note blocks. One of them has a star in it. It was this one. Oh, and it goes the opposite direction, really, and I fall in the pit. No fun. <laughs> no moss. No moss. That's all I'm gonna say. But uh, uh, I actually enjoyed, I got more, derived more entertainment out of Super Mario Brothers 3 than I ever did from Super Mario Brothers 2. Yeah. To be honest. But, but the one thing I found odd is, um, Lance, if you remember how uh, Nintendo always used to uh, take the Mario series and make cartoons out of it, you know, the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, and, and yeah. then they, they crafted it to, from Super Mario Brothers 3. Um, one thing I always found odd is the, the character names. They never, they never followed the character names from the series. You know, if um, if you remember correctly, as I dodged that fireball, come on, there we go. Uh, the name of the Koopa Kids were vastly different from than the names they have in here for the video game. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not sure as to why the they always changed that. It was just something that I found rather odd. Let's play one of the mini games here. Line up the pictures and get a prize. You only get one try, though. Alright, let's give it a shot. Uh, let's try this. 
Yeah. Oh, we, all right, we've got to line up Fireflower. Oh, all right, let's see. Can we get it? Oh! Oh, dang it. Well, let's go to Boom Boom's Castle. Yeah, you heard me right. But there is a hidden secret in this castle. For those of you who don't remember it, I uh, I remember it very, very well. It has to do with the, uh, the epic popular warp whistle, and I can't get it with the fire flower. Troopers, yep. <gasps> oh, come on, if I lose the raccoon power, I'm gonna be mad. Right. Right. Watch this go up here, and now look at this, Lance. Yeah. Warp whistle. And just like that, we bypass Boom Boom's castle without actually having to go into the boss battle. Yeah. I'm not going to use the warp whistle right now because I want to show everyone like more World One here. As I look at the clock here, um, uh, what? Uh, one thing I said about when I started uh, when doing the Mario 2 uh, LP was uh, one of the things I like about Bandicam, the free version, is um, it gives me a chance to kind of like put put a time limit on each uh, installment. Yeah. Yeah, so that way I don't have to do that myself. You know, a lot of people are saying, well, why can't you just do, get the free version uh, or get the paid version? I'm like, uh, I'm trying to look up the crack version, guys, and uh, l let's just say uh, um, a lot of the crack versions uh, well, they are have, crack for a reason. Yeah, for viruses, really. Uh, I know we haven't had a chance to visit Toad's house in this world. Uh, get away from me. You know, whenever time you visit Toad's house, it gives you an item you can use so that way, um, if you need a power-up before a level starts, you can get one. I think there's something here. I'm not entirely positive about it. Uh, oh, there's a one-up, and I'm going to lose the opportunity to get that, so. But, um, if you guys are wondering if am I going to continue the uh, Mario Brothers 2 uh, series, I'm... I, I will. I, um, I will as, as soon as I uh, feel more comfortable with uh, going back to Mario 2 and the frustration. By the way, James, I freaking hate you for that. James Bowley. And I. Oh, no, you saw that little bit of a trap right there. They had that yeah. good trooper right there. Very, very sneaky. All right, well, let's visit Toad's house here. Pick a box. Its contents will help you on your way. Lance, you know what? I'm going to give you the honor and the pleasure of picking the first box. Uh, three. Right, the one here. closest to Toad. Right here? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm mushroom. Mario always did love his magic mushroom. Oh, wait, that's the actual ladder. Got an invincibility star out of that. All right, so what we do, what we're gonna do, guys, is um, we're, we're gonna cut it off right here for this installment, and when we come back to Mario uh, Three, we are gonna face the Doom Ship and the boss of World One. So until until next time, see you guys. Bye.